Namaste. An open letter to the leaders of the world. On one hand, we want to thank you. You have provided us with such adversity, and it is this that has finally made us stronger. You have been formidable foes, but we are learning that this world will get better only when we love our fellow travellers and see the good in each one of them. We know that every bad guy has a good guy inside. And we know that spark of divine essence that dwells deep within our own beings also lies deep within yours. If you were to come and join us at our table, you would find curiosity, friendship and forgiveness. Just because you've treated us badly does not mean that we hold a grudge against you. We would, however, expect you to understand that we reject your authority and that you will find no support for your plans and schemes among us. We, su we simply no longer choose to be manipulated. <clears throat> Although there will be obstacles, we're willing to start over. We're prepared to be responsible for our own lives now. We must discard your cards, vaccines and chip implants because they had too many strings attached. We must turn off your television and radio programs until their messages become uplifting. And we will start to rebuild our lives without your help by first living together in small, self-sufficient communities. <clears throat> if we need to, we'll grow our food in our backyards as well as in common areas and we'll barter and trade amongst ourselves. We will also nurture our children with foresight and learn to love and heal each other so peace and freedom can return to our lives. As we see it, you are also being stalked by your own evolution and you will change. You cannot avoid being drawn out of your secrecy at this time. The only path left for you is to follow one of conscience. Like us, you're realising that there's no separation between you and what you perceive. We are all beginning to understand that when we inflict pain or hardship on others, we inflict it upon ourselves. Once you fully comprehend what you're doing to yourself, you won't be able to continue. Enlightenment is coming to all who renounce conflict and violence. Even an unscrupulous, sophisticated robber baron can evolve into a higher, more loving entity. He is no less entitled to the grace of our great creator than the people he has conspired against. Just that one small transformation in your attitude, whereby you begin to see, without blinders, that you only lack the opening of your heart in order to take the next step step for which you are poised and ready, but which all of your power and money cannot provide for you. Isn't it ironic now that you've dared for generations to hide our own hearts from us? Ever since we were trusting little school children, reciting your pledges and practicing your patriotic ceremonies, you deceptively taught us to place our hand over our heart on the left side of our chest. Only now are we locating our hearts in the exact centre of our chests and we are learning how to activate the wondrous feelings that have long slept dormant within us. The people of the earth yearn for the day when we will all live together in peace. You cannot stop us from advancing toward the love we all deserve. That glorious moment nears when, 
instead of being adversaries, we will stand together as brothers and sisters whose consciences have awakened, as equals whose time of heaven on earth has come. Until then, for all the people who needlessly suffer and die because of your economic and political manipulations, and for all the animals who face extinction or lie in a cage that doesn't even allow them to, enough space to turn around, and for all the beautiful plants and trees of the forest who burn indiscriminately, we ask one last question. Why must you continue to bring harm and havoc to all the living things of the earth when your own truest happiness would automatically come from helping us instead? From the intenders of the highest novel, highest good novel by Tony Burroughs. My intention for today is that I intend that I'm seeing everyone, including our current world managers, in their highest light. Thank you for watching, and please come to buzzforbliss.com to help create peace on earth. Thank you. Peace.